back to my channel. I know this is a different type of video, but if you've been following uh, my vlogs and watching them, then you know that in my previous vlogs, I told you guys that we are getting a puppy. So this is going to be the puppy haul. Everything that I bought for him, um, I'll let you guys know his name once we actually get him. We are getting him in a week. So I just wanted to go ahead and do the puppy essentials haul video and just show you guys everything that I bought for him. I'm sure this video may bring some new subscribers, you know, animal lovers, and that's just fine. If you're new, my name is Carmenita, and this channel is pretty much about lifestyle vlogs. Um, I am a new homeowner, so I document that journey as well, and I also uh, do natural hair as far as just products that I like to use and things like that. So. Without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I bought him, well, I'm not gonna say the first thing, I'll just say the first thing I'm gonna show you guys is his bowls. I got most of this stuff that I bought is from Petco and Amazon, and I'm waiting on another order from Chewy. It's not here yet, but I'll show that in the vlog once we actually get him. So this I got from Petco, and I am going to clean all of this before, you know, he comes. But it has this little mat, and the bowls do come out like that. And so it just in case he wastes food, gets all the food, you know, right here. The next thing I got is the puppy mat. To put the bowls on it's so cute it's got the little puppies on it i thought it was super cute this is uh was from petco as well Oop. lighting sorry you guys this was from petco as well and i know that you can buy animal clothes and toys and things from ross tj maxx marshall's and home goods i'm 100 aware of that but I had already bought this stuff on Amazon and Petco, but I did go to Ross and Home Goods for like some toys, so I'll show you guys those as well. So here's a little outfit. It's just one little piece of clothing that I bought because I don't know if he'll be able to wear it or not. So it says coolest dog in the world. Super cute. So I just bought one thing just to see, you know, what size he wears. I'm thinking extra small, but it may be extra, extra small because he's only uh, seven weeks right as of right now. When I pick him up, he will be eight weeks, and I think he's still going to be super tiny. So next thing I got is his carrier. This is super cute, you guys. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I got this from Amazon, but I cannot remember. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But it's green because the the puppy that I chose was uh, baby green. He had a green collar. So I just thought this was just perfect for him, you know, baby green to have the carrot green carrier. And it has a little opening at the top. And then it also has an opening on the side as well. And it came with this, but I'm not going to put that in here, but it came with this little mat that you put on the inside so he can be super comfortable goes in there just like that and he can sit in here and you just close it up and you can still see it and he can get some air through here i thought this was really nice because um he will have a vet a vet trip probably a week after i get him so i will be putting him in this little carrier and yes i'm going to get a puppy car seat as well <laughs> a doggy car seat as well so you know once he gets a little bigger but we're really not going to be going anywhere with him for a little bit but definitely going to get the puppy car seat so i thought this was cute next thing i got is some treats this is the uh, crazy dog mini train me uh, chicken flavored treats we'll dog it so that's what it looks like and this is um, what I'm gonna use when I'm actually training him so I can't wait to do that I'm gonna definitely gonna start training him as soon as he comes home after he gets you know comfortable with being here we're definitely gonna start crate training which I will show you guys in just a little bit I'll show you his crate so cute and next thing I got is some uh, waste bags some trash bags little puppy bags for his poop 
So I got these actually at uh, Home Goods. I got these at Home Goods. It's 120 bags. Um, they don't have any fragrance, but I do have. I am gonna purchase some more bags as well. Just some to keep in the car, keep in his carrier, and to keep at home. You can't have enough puppy bags. So I got those, and this was like five dollars. Yeah, five dollars, you guys. You cannot beat that. And next I got this um, Well and Good Lather and Stimulate Coats Grooming Glove. When I give him a bath, I'm going to use this glove because, you know, it feels good. It's kind of like that little thing that I use when I wash my hair and it massages my scalp. This is kind of like that, the exact same material. It's rubber, it feels really, really good. And I thought it was a good um, thing to buy for him, just to give him a good bathing experience. Next, I got some uh, Earth Bath Hypoallergenic Grooming Wipes for sensitive skin. It's 100 pet wipes. This is one of the items from Petco. So again, I know you can get this stuff, probably Marshalls. We don't have a Marshalls here, but we do have a Ross, TJ Maxx, and Home Goods. And so I didn't see any of these, to be honest with you, in Home Goods or Ross. So I'm sure Amazon has these though, but next time I get some, it'll be off Amazon. But yeah, I got these fragrance-free wipes because, you know, when he uses the restroom outside or just be outside in general, and I do want to, you know, wipe his little paws when he comes back in or while he's in his crate or playpen, he may use the potty, you know, he may step in it. I don't know, but I just want to be prepared and wipe him down. Okay, the next thing that I got for him is the shampoo and conditioning rinse. This is by John Paul Pet. And it's the oatmeal um, shampoo and conditioner. And it looks like this. Because he is a Yorkie Poo. I don't know if I even said that. But he is a Yorkie Poo. And so they have very sensitive skin. And so this is one of the um, items that I've seen on YouTube. I've been watching so many pet vlogs, pet videos, Yorkie videos. Because he is um, half Yorkie, half toy poodle. And so... I wanted to make sure I get, you know, a good shampoo and conditioner for him. So this is the conditioning rinse. And again, it's by John Paul. This is from Petco as well. And I hope that he likes it. And the next item I got is the, um, his food, which is Royal Canaan. I did my research and I saw that this was a very good brand for Yorkies. I saw it all on YouTube and um it's one of the the best foods that you can get for his immune system and everything and so i just wanted to make sure i feed him the best food possible because he is a part of the family he's like my little son so i just want to make sure that he eats well and has good nutrients inside of his body um, i'm not sure what the breeder is uh feeding the puppies now i believe he said pedigree but eventually i may i am going to transition him into this food here and I did get this from Petco as well. And this is just a 2.5 pound bag, you know, when he first gets here. And if I see that he's eating it and he likes it, then I'll get a bigger bag. And also I'm gonna get a food container to put his food in. Again, I haven't, I'm not done with getting items for him, but this was just the essentials that he's going to need when he first comes home. Next, I got him some puppy pads definitely need these for potty training um, it's a hundred in here and this was a Petco item as well it is the so fresh essentials absorbent potty pads it's leak proof liner and now holds two cups it says so these are quilted pads and we are definitely going to start potty training ASAP <laughs> I am going to do pad training and outside training as well because I do work from home but I'm still going to be taking him outside I did buy him a bell as well, and I'll show you guys that. I know that potty training can be a little bit difficult with Yorkies, but with Yorkie Poos, by him being half poodle, I feel like they're a little bit more intelligent, and he'll do fine. He'll do extremely fine because the breeder is also potty training the puppies as well, so that's a plus. Next, I got this uh, poop scoop thing. I got this, I believe, from Ross, you guys. I'm not sure, but it has a little place where you can stick the little uh, potty bags in. 
So you just pick it up and then put it in the bag <laughs> and then tie the bag up. I mean, who's trying to touch poop, right? But I thought this was a great little essential item because I don't want to, you know, touch the poop. I really don't. So I might buy another one of these just to keep in the car. One at home and one in the car. But yeah, I thought this was cute. And I like that it has a little place where you can hold the bags in because the other poop bags that I'm going to get, it's like this little travel size thing where you can keep the poop bags in that. So I'm going to possibly keep that one like in my purse or something like that. But I thought this was cute. So next we do have a harness for him. This is a little army fatigue harness. It is a size small. It is so cute, you guys. It's so little, but I am going to be using a harness for him instead of a collar, you know, as far as when I walk him because, you know, there's their bones are so kind of sensitive and, and you don't, you can easily break Yorkie's bones from what I've heard, what I've been doing my research. Um, so you don't ever want to walk a dog with just a collar, like, you know, it kind of pushes their neck back and so you can just hurt them. I don't want to do that to my puppy, so I definitely want to keep him safe as possible so it's best to use a harness and I am gonna buy a lot more of these it's just right now I just want to see what fits him before I go crazy with all the harnesses and clothes and things like that but yeah this is just the only one we have right now and this is his collar winter picked this one out and she is super excited hopefully you guys can see and I believe we got this from PetSmart we just walked in PetSmart one day just to you know see what they had and so we bought this collar from PetSmart and here is his doggy tag it says King <laughs> I think I wait I said I was gonna say his name here we got this done at Walmart so I think it was like 10 bucks for this little thing too but it's so cute he does have an Instagram and I will leave that down in the description box make sure you follow my little puppy on Instagram because the pictures are coming so yes that's the only collar we got so far but again I don't know if this will even fit I feel like it's gonna be too big winter thinks it's going to fit we'll see when he gets here but super cute and so next we have one of these Nyla Bone little chicken flavored um, teething chews. Super cute. And I heard that this is very, very good for dogs when they're teething. They love to chew on these. In every video or vlog that I've seen with small dogs, they go ham on this little thing. So I'm definitely going to get a couple of more of these so that he will have you know to chew on or whatnot because you got to keep them busy even if you are just in the house and just chilling you still want to be able to make sure that the dog is inside of the playpen or inside of the crate while you're at home so that they can get used to being inside that crate and not you know go crazy when you actually try to put them in when you get ready to leave so I've been doing a lot of research you guys on this dog so yeah this is one of the items and um, I think I got this from PetSmart, I believe, when we walked in there. So yeah, I got this from PetSmart. And this is another toy um, that Winter bought him. It's uh, made with bamboo fiber, just a little chew toy. A little bone, we'll see. I know some toys are not good um, once their teeth come in and they can actually chew them so much that they can break them and you know start swallowing them. So. You gotta keep an eye on your puppy whenever he has certain toys, but I think this one will be okay. We'll see though, but it's cute. And next we got him a little ball. It does squeak. And I actually saw on another video where this kind of ball is better versus the regular tennis balls. And the reason being is because the fur on the tennis balls can actually come off and get into their mouth. And so you don't want the pet swallowing that. So this is a better option versus those tennis balls. So I'm glad, I'm glad that I saw that because I was about to just go buy some more little balls like this, but really the tennis ones. And so, yeah, I'll be getting some more of these little Nerf kind of dog balls. So super cute. Now this is an item from Amazon. This is one of the uh, self-cleaning slick brush. It looks like this. And let me show you guys what it does. So, you push this button, this little button right here, and you brush the dog. 
And after you brush him, you let go and you can just brush the hair off of the brush and you don't have to do anything else and it comes right off super easy. I saw this brush on a lot of videos, a lot of videos, so I had to get it. I mean, I wish it, oh, it does stay. Okay, you just push it a little bit harder and it stays out. And then I guess, let me see how you release it. Okay, so you just push it and then you push it again to release it. And you just brush, you know, the pet hair off. Great investment. Again, this is from Amazon. If I could find a link for you guys, I will, but I think this is gonna be a game changer. <laughs> Cause you definitely wanna keep your uh, puppy's hair brushed. It can get matted and tangled and we don't want any of that. I'm probably gonna groom the heck out of this dog, to be honest with you. I'm gonna keep him looking fresh at all times because I don't want his puppy hair to just get tangled up and matted. I don't want that. So he's probably going to get groomed um, twice a month. And a few more toys and then I'll show you guys the crate and the playpen. But here is one of these little toys. <laughs> we got this from Home Goods. Winter we um, got him this. It's a little pizza. I think it was so cute. They have the cutest doggone doggy toys, y'all, but this one's probably gonna get on my nerves. This was about six bucks, so, you know, it's not expensive, but super cute. And then we got him this little pixel puppy. Again, it's a green one because he's the baby green dog. And this was like four bucks at Home Goods. Super cute. Every time I see a little small dog, they be going crazy with these little squishy toys, so I thought it was cute. So now I'm gonna show you guys his crate and the playpen. Okay, so here is his crate. Um, I got this from Amazon, you guys, and I got the cover. The cover, I believe the cover came with it or it was separate, I'm not sure. I can't remember, but this is his crate and that's his bed on the inside. And it opens like that. And more than likely, this is not gonna stay in here while I'm trying to, you know, potty train him and everything like that. But I just put the bed inside. It's really nice and fluffy. It looks so comfy. So yes, I did get a divider as well. The divider came with the crate, but I haven't put it in there yet. So that's that. And then this is another little napping bed that I got him. Again, it's green. <laughs> So we got this at Ross. I got actually got this at Ross, y'all. Super cute, it's machine washable. And I hope he likes it. He'll just be chilling on that while he's, you know, just resting, taking his little nap. And then this right here is his playpen. I love this. This is from Petco. And as you can see, it has like a little pouch on the side and the zippers at the bottom where you just open it, that's what it looks like. That little um, bed right there is gonna go inside his crate because it's a little bit smaller, but it's a lot of room in this playpen, you guys. And This opens and then also, you can just roll this part up and it sticks right here. So he can come in and out anytime he wants. Super cute and it does have an opening at the top because this is an indoor outdoor playpen and that's why i got it because we'll be going outside and he can be outside in his playpen while i'm out doing you know yard work or whatever the case may be so let me show you guys the doorbell that i got so while i am potty training him here is the bell i got this from amazon so he'll be able to click that little bell ring it and that way he'll let me know that he has to go out and as he grows the bell adjusts you can bring it down right here and then that way you know as he gets taller he'll be able to still ring the bell so that's it you guys that is my puppy haul i cannot wait to show you king when he gets here next weekend winter reminds me every single day how many days we have left <laughs> so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you are a dog mom dog parent leave me a little dog emoji down in the comments so i see how many puppy lovers i have or animal lovers i have and don't forget to follow my king on instagram i will leave it down below or maybe in the comments somewhere or in the description box so i'll see you guys in my next one peace Oh,